Flowware module Shape Utilities contains a group of command called Advanced Boundary Edit. In PCB design, many shapes, voids, keep-ins and keep-outs have a complex boundary, which is a result of the component placement and mechanical restrictions. During the design process, these boundaries often need to be modified. This Flowware module expands the editing possibilities of PCB Editor. We can round off one or many corners at the same time to avoid EMI issues with a specific radius or change already round off arcs with a new radius. If a shape needs to be extended, you can simply cut it in parts and move these parts manually or with a specific offset. And last not least, if a drill hole is changed, the surrounding shapes need to follow these changes of the drill hole. So just select the arc and change its radius and the coordinates of the center point. When selecting a shape in this Flowware module, the boundary will be highlighted and the rest of the design gets dimmed to the background. In this case, we select a reference plane of a high-speed interface. If we now draw a window around the vertices, you can move the lower part of the reference plane either manually or you enter relative coordinates for a precise move. If we now want to change some 90 degree corners as well, we just select the round off mode and enter a radius. After that, we simply draw a selection window and all selected corners will change at once. And just click the right mouse button when done to finish the advanced boundary edit. Now let's have a look at a more simple shape to show off the other features. Start the advanced boundary edit mode and select a handle to move the vertex anywhere you want. If you don't like the location, just press oops and switch on the snap to grid function for better alignment of the corners. You can do it one by one or just draw a selection window to move complete segments either manually or by entering relative offset parameters. The option Trim to Selection Window is also a useful feature. When disabled, the movement will start at the next corners outside the window. But if you enable the Trim to Selection Window option, new vertices will be added at the intersection of the boundary and the selection window. Trim to selection window does not only work on lines, it also works at arcs. Just enable the option and draw a selection window where you want to stretch the shape. To remove vertices, select the function Cut Boundary. When selecting a single vertex, it will just be removed. This works for a single vertex or as many vertices which are inside the selection window. With the Trim option, you can cut off parts of arcs or parts of the entire shape. If you want to round off corners of your boundary, just enter a radius, for example of 2 mm, and select the corners individually or with a window. If you want to change the radius of an existing round-off arc, 
just enter the new radius and select the arc in the change mode. To remove a round off arc, just enter the radius 0 and click on the handle. Changing arcs can be more tricky when you need to move a round cutoff and change its diameter at the same time. For better orientation, you can make voids of a shape visible or hide them while editing a boundary. By just selecting the arc and clicking on the increase or decrease button, you can change the values for the x and y coordinates as well as for the radius.